And now, breaking news from NBC4. And NBC4 has just received the incident reports from Friday night's arrest of three teenagers at Canal Winchester High School during a football game against Groveport Madison. We are now learning police officers, Groveport Madison school employees, and a citizen were involved in the arrest. Employees told police there was a fight in the bleachers and they brought, they brought out two teenagers. Police say one of the teens had a Glock 9mm in his pants leg with a fully loaded magazine and a round in the chamber. Minutes later, police say employees brought out another teen who tried to run, but the assistant principal and a civilian stopped him and held him. Police say that teen also had a fully loaded 9mm Glock. Another teen was also brought out and police say he also had a handgun. All three teenagers are now facing weapons charges. Also in connection to this incident, the 18 year old arrested for his role appeared in court for the first time this morning. He is one of the four teenagers in total charged after police say they confiscated multiple guns. Matthew Herchik has the latest from the courtroom. 18 year old Sherrod Bowers went before a judge earlier this morning. The teen faces multiple felony charges, including carrying a concealed weapon as well as possessing a deadly weapon in a school safety zone. Friday's incident marking now the second time in as many years that the game between these same two schools has been overshadowed by guns and arrests. Now, this is Bowers appearing virtually in a Franklin County courtroom this morning. He was arrested Friday night in connection to the incident. According to a message sent to members of Canal Winchester schools, a fight broke out on the away sidelines of the stadium just before 8 p.m. Well, officers with Madison Township Police removed the individuals, but according to an affidavit, a Groveport Madison school administrator approached police and told an officer they believed Bowers had a gun on him. After searching him, police found a handgun modified to be fully automatic. Police say they confiscated three guns in total. Now, Bowers was handed a $150,000 bond and is expected back in court on August 29th. Meanwhile, in a statement from Canal Winchester, Superintendent Kaya Hunt said that none of the four teens are members at either school, adding, quote, the events at tonight's game are both scary and frustrating. Our students deserve to attend games with their friends and make memories without fearing for their safety. Now, Friday's incident comes almost exactly one year after police made arrests at the game between these same two schools. Last year, 18-year-old James Keyes was arrested along with a 15-year-old after they were accused of firing shots outside of the stadium. Fortunately, police have confirmed that nobody was hurt in either incident. Local for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Matthew Herchik, NBC4.